So towards the end of last year, I was listening to a podcast, um, and they were talking about the top ranked amp simulators and cab sims and everything for 2023. Uh, as they were kind of previewing the list, they mentioned something that I had never heard of before. That was the Two Notes Opus. So I got online, started doing some research, started looking at it, and I hadn't heard about it because it had just come out. Now, I immediately started watching a bunch of videos on it. It seemed really cool. I love what Two Notes does. The Opus really kind of seemed like a perfect solution to me for what I was needing. I have been using the TC Electronic DC30, which I love, but it was just an AC30 style amp, which as I showed can be very versatile, but I was kind of wanting a little more. I was looking at getting maybe a Line 6 Helix or something like that, um, but I didn't really want to spend five or six hundred dollars on something. So the Opus really, really seemed to be like the perfect fit for me. Uh, with a retail price of about three hundred dollars, uh, I thought that that was a, a great price for that. And I went on Reverb and I started watching a couple just to kind of see what the prices would do. And I immediately got an offer from a seller for $260. Uh, so I got a brand new unit from a retailer for $260. And let me tell you, I couldn't be more excited. The Opus is pretty simple. You've got two knobs. Uh, they can be pushed to kind of select things. You can go back and forth. Basically, it allows you to dive through all of the menus. Uh, you've got plenty of I.O., uh, you've got instrument line in, line out to a speaker, you've got line level selector. This is your USB-C so that you can uh, put your own cabs on here. You can, uh, you know, update the firmware and everything, which there have already been two updates since I've had this. Um, then, of course, your power. Over here, you've got MIDI. You've got an aux in and a headphone out, which, like I said, on the DC-30 isn't always something you find. So I was happy to see that. Uh, ground lift for your DI out and then line out uh, if you're running this maybe into a power amp and then into a cab or something like that. That's not how I use it, so I don't know a ton about that. Um, and then right back here, you've got uh, a little memory card. So you've got some uh, built-in storage on the unit itself. Then you've got a little memory card um, that you can add uh, things onto. As I said, there have already been a couple of firmware updates, and when I got on this morning to start shooting this video, I had kind of had everything set for the song that I was going to record. But there was a firmware update, and one of the new amps was a flatback. Um, I don't know why they call it that, but it's their version of the Mesa Rectifier series. Dual rec, triple rec, whatever it's supposed to be. Uh, so I re-recorded some of my guitar parts using that. It's, it's my favorite like kind of high gain amp that they have on there but there are a bunch of amps on here you've got fender style amps you've got a box you've got a marshall plexi kind of thing you've got a soldano you've got orange uh mesa boogie uh, you've got a 5150 which is a little anemic for a 5150 but it's nice now this isn't a technical demo of this i just wanted to give you a short look at some of the sounds that this can produce. I'm gonna have a lot more videos on this. Um, but I just, I think this is really cool. Other than the product launch videos, I haven't seen this on anyone's board and I don't understand why, it's great. Um, when I was recording, I wanted to use just stuff, just amps that are in here, so I didn't use any boosts or anything like that in front of it. I didn't use any reverb. I didn't do any kind of post effects. I didn't do any kind of post processing whatsoever. The only thing I changed was I really like the cab IRs that I already use. I use some own hammer cab IRs. So I loaded those on here. So I have uh, an orange 412, an orange 212, and a rectifier 412, and then a bunch of different mic combinations for those. Um, and that's what I use in here. Um, they have a ton of options. They have some amazing cabs. I just like the consistency of using the cabs that I already have. The cool thing about this is that it has an app that goes along with it called Two Notes Remote. You can put it on an iPad, put it on an Android device, you can put it on your PC or your Mac. And basically, it allows you to control everything on here uh, without having a menu dive. I'm going to show you just a quick look at what that looks like. Um, 
and I'm going to make a video where I kind of go through that a little deeper. Uh, but I just want to show you guys real quick what that looks like. Again, it's not a technical demo of everything that this can do. It's just kind of a glimpse. Now, this isn't a technical demo, like I said, and there's no way that I can go through all of the features in this one video. But I did want to take a few seconds and look at the Two Notes uh, remote app. Basically, this connects to the Opus via Bluetooth. I can pull it up on my iPad or on my PC. Uh, and it allows me to edit things from here, and it changes them automatically on the Opus without actually having to go through all the menus in the Opus itself, which you can do. Uh, it's just a little tedious because there's only the two buttons. Um, but for the, uh, I believe the right rhythm track, I had um, their flatback model, which is uh, their version of a Mesa rectifier, probably a triple rec. Uh, and I had it running 6L6 tubes. Here are the settings I had. And I didn't use any of the IRs that they have in it. I used my own IR, so the own hammer uh, 412 rectifier. Uh, it's an oversized rectifier with a 57. And then I used an orange 212 uh, with a 57 at about four inches away, I believe is what that would be. Or maybe it's maybe it's half inch increment. So that would be two inches away. Um, then let's see for the other rhythm track and go in here local now this is for your um, memory card if you have any stored on there i don't have anything separate from what's in the the actual um opus itself um, and these are just some presets that i've made i use the soldano uh <clears throat> they called it the el dorado but it's a soldano again uh 6l6s here are the settings that I had. Um, I didn't have the gate on when I was recording, uh, but again, same rectifier 412 with a 57, uh, same orange uh, 212 with a 57, but this time I had the mic a little bit closer. So that would have been probably about an inch away. Uh, then for the third guitar tracks, which is just the little lead line and then some extra chugging at the end, I used their Nifty 50, which is their version of the PV5150. I mean, you can you can change all of your tubes and everything. Um, you can go single-ended, you can go push-pull. I just, all of these, you know, typically use 6L6s, and that's what I stuck with. Uh, this one is a little bit different. It is the same two cabs, the Orange 212 and the Rectifier 412, but I had the mix a little bit higher. You can see 5 dB on the 212 in this one. Um, and right at zero on the 412, I usually have those flipped, um, but I liked kind of the uh, little more mid-range and, and a little more presence that I got from that 212. Uh, and then for the bass, the bass amps in here as well, I used their Peggy model, which is an Ampeg. Um, I just have one mic on it. This time I am using their... Dyn IR cabs. Uh, I just used what was already in there. Just one mic on it, uh, and I put uh, EL34 uh, tubes in it. Uh, I, I like the 6L6s in it, um, but I was just I accidentally clicked on this, and I happen to really like it for this tone. Uh, so yeah, that is the Two Notes remote app. Like I said, you can pull this up on your PC. You can uh, you know use it on an iPad and. It connects via Bluetooth. I've never had an issue with it connecting, and it's pretty automatic between the changes you make on here and the sound that you hear. Then you can just save everything. So that's my first video, my first look at the Two Notes Opus. It's an amp sim. It's a DI box. It's a cab simulator. I mean, this thing really does a lot. Um, I love the way it takes pedals. Uh, I'm really, really impressed with this. I've got a bunch more videos coming on this. I'm going to be working on some things. Uh, if you have any specific questions, you know, let me know. I would love to do things that are going to help people. Um, you know, like I said, I haven't seen this in a whole lot of videos. I think it's a great choice. It's cheaper than an ACS-1. It's cheaper than an Iridium. And it does so much more. It's, of course, it's cheaper than the UA stuff. They're always you know, pretty pricey. $300 um, is the retail price on it. Like I said, if, if, if 
you're patient, you know, which I didn't even have to be patient. But if you if you, you know, take a few minutes, don't just run straight to, you know, like whatever retailer you prefer and buy it, you might can even get it cheaper than that. So uh, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope you guys have a great week.